24 jaar, 63 kilo, dus exact het gewicht. 70 partijen gemaakt, waarvan 50 gewonnen door knockout. Hij verloor er maar 5 en 15 won hij op punten. Hij is de huidige kampioen van Thailand in het lichtgewicht. Dames en heren, de bijnaam Koben is eigenlijk in het Thais cowboy. Zien we hier vanavond een rodeo. Zien we hier een hele snelle man. Geef hem een fantastisch applaus van Thailand, Mr. Koban. Kampioen van Thailand, Koban. fights, 10 knockouts, he is the light heavyweight champion of the world. Just starting his Ramui. Veit, the current Dutch champion, has won 25 of his 35 fights. And his greatest success, he says, was winning that European Championship in the middleweight division. No Ramui at the moment for Lando Veit, who watches impassively as his opponent, Champion, goes through his pre-fight ritual. A 
Coach Steve, how do you see this one going? I see Orlando coming out very strong, trying to uh, get revenge for their, our European fighters. Chankwek is a little bit of a stranger to me. He looks exciting fighter. We're looking for a very good fight here from uh, Orlando Bay. Suppose in all the uh, Thai boxing matches we've seen so far, a feature of the European fighters has been their mid-range fighting and their kicking. Thai boxer learns to kick with his or her shin rather than ball or instep of the foot. In addition to the popular method of hardening the shin was repeated kicking of a banana tree. And now our training's done on sand-filled leather bags. But you can't underestimate, really, the effect that a good kicker in Thai boxing can have on his opponent. of Orlando Vice. There's his fiance looking rather worried on the side. He takes that blow from Jan Piuk, the world champion. was holding the ropes as he went in there, which is illegal as the coach of Melinda Veidt, Gore Hammers, free shot of him. Again, a very sedate start to this light heavyweight title fight. Some good knee work from Champion. Trying to win Melinda Veidt. Kick to the calf. And Chan Piuk knows he's in a fight here. Good round for the Dutchman. Very good round. I'm, I'm really pleased with this. We're looking at a long fight here. Oh, Orlando White there is, is really strong. He's given, uh, he's taken everything the Thai boy can throw at him and he's given it back. He's there now psyching the boy out in the middle of the ring. Really cocky customer, isn't he? Chan Puke just uh, trying to catch his breath as his coach in second. Trying to patch him up, and there seems to be a swelling beneath his right eye. And no doubt Orlando Vite has spotted that and will go for that area of Chan Puke's face. Yeah, that's adrenaline cream. They're trying to uh, patch him up, but it is actually a very small nick. And if Orlando's seen it, he must try and open that cut. So let's have a look at some of the action from that first round now. 
Yeah, there's that left leg from the back. Nice one to try and damage the arms. But he blocked it well, didn't he? Very, very well. And that's where he caught him off balance. I actually thought he'd uh, caught him on the back of the calf, but he hadn't done. He just overbalanced Champion. But it's uh, an encouraging round for the Dutchman. There's been precious little for the European fighters to shout about here in the Supreme World Thai Boxing Championships. But we're coming to you live from Oldham here on Screen Sport. And these pictures, remember, going live to Thailand. In fact, there's our commentary position and our Thai TV colleagues watching this fight. So, second round underway. I wonder if uh, Orlando Vite can take heart from that good performance in the opening three minutes. Vite with the red gloves. And Veit really has gone for the jugular. Yeah, I think he's decided he can take the tie out. That would surprise me. I'm looking in the tie corner and they're getting really excited. They're telling Shane Gwek to take him out with an elbow. Easier said than done, mind you. But the tie has got Orlando Veit where he wants him now, at close quarters where the ties are always strongest in their boxing, where they can use their elbows and their knees. The Europeans tend to be better in their boxing and their club work. There's some power in that left leg of uh, Jane Pex. He's really knocking Orlando back, and Orlando is a very, very strong boy. The five, three-minute rounds. This is round two. And I was looking a, bit, a little bit worried, ragged, he worries me a little bit. This has been a much better round for Champ Pure Kessler. Yep, yeah, the start there with uh, the Lando White coming at him. Really good. Now Chang Puet's calmed him down and he's going for the kill. He just kicked Orlando in the leg. It's a lovely kick that hurts. He's now trying to hurt him as much as possible. Vite begins to use his gloves. Oh, and the tie is wobbling here. He could be down. Bay punches Rain in. And Chang Puet hangs on for all he's worth. of that incredible battering, Chan Piuk suddenly got an elbow to the face of uh, Veidt. And the fight incredibly swung from one way to another. Veidt is down again. His fiance says, get up, get up. Piuk desperately close now. Ooh, the bell saved Orlando Veidt. Was a sensational 30 seconds. Very good. Time boxing. Very good. I think now we're going to have some kind of a fight. This next round, the tie is going to take Orlando, trying to take him out of there. But Orlando's not going to go. I'm surprised he's even on his feet after that elbow. How the heck can he take things like that? You can see that swelling just beneath the right eye where Champion has taken. That barrage of blows from Orlando Vite. But what surprised me, Steve, was in the middle of that incredible battering champion was taking from the glove work of Orlando Vite, he managed to produce an elbow which swung the match back in his favour. That's the Thais game. You're playing into their game when you come that close to them. Yes, we can outpunch them. But if you get too close, they're going to land the elbow, and it's proved the point. Are the elbows on knees at that range? You've had it. The Europeans can't do it. 
wonder if we can see that instant again. Here he is, Veit. There it is. White's uh, throwing everything at a champion now. He looks to wobble a little bit, but then woof. Oh, right on the butt. Very good shot. And he doesn't even know which planet he's on after receiving that incredible blow. And this fight very much in the balance now. The Thai corner screaming instructions at Chang Piuk. Orlando Vite on his feet. at a fair old pace. So Lando Vines in the dark shorts, the Dutchman, and he's down again. Against Chan Cook, the uh, tie in the white. Chan Cook is going for that uh, front leg of Lando Vines. He's going for it with his back leg. Left leg, but very dangerous with it. Lando's doing the right thing. Now we must punch him. an insult to the tie, it hits him in the face. It's a personal insult, so the tie's got to get rid of him now. And he's done it again. And Goremus urging his man forward. Uh, good right hand there from Hong Chang Quick. Lovely right hand. Just being told off the knee below the belt. Yeah, he's done that about four times in this fight. That not allowed in the rules. No striking at the groin. Vine looks very, very tired now. As we're midway through this third round of this world light heavyweight title bout. Lando knows he can punch and he can hurt Chang Quick. That's why he's trying. He's trying if he swings, he hopes he can punch, knock him out. Stinging kick from Chang Quick. He's following in, but he's throwing the left leg from the back and then he's throwing the right hand through after without putting the leg down. It shows a good champion, a very good champion. Just uh, explaining that. That's not in the rules. Right, just getting a little bit carried away, but it's a tremendous fight. Probably the best we've seen so far this afternoon. Last 10 seconds of round three. Steve, your thoughts on round three? I'm very surprised. I said that would be a hard round for Orlando, and it surely is. He's, he's there, you can't take it away from the man. He's doing everything right up to now, and he's actually taking the fight to the tie boy. He's looking ragged, in but fact, he's, he's still there. In fact, the Dutch corner is saying, you've got to box him. You can't go in close on this Thai world champion. He's held the title for six months. And at times, it's wobbled from his grasp. Very much so. Orlando definitely can hurt him with those hands. But we've got to watch. Uh, I'm afraid. Chang Beck is good. Let's have a look at uh, some of the action from that third round. Left leg again. Yes, there's the insult. There's a front kick straight through the middle. 
Why do you call it an insult, Steve? To put your foot on a tie's face or head is an insult. And the tie has got to hurt him now. In fact, he must try and do it back to him. Would you have a uh, bite ahead over the three rounds? No, I'd just have the tie ahead. I would give him just the first two. Maybe white the next round. Definitely ahead here, the tie. Well, some of the lighter sides of Thai boxing. Have a look at this. Yeah. And if you have my leg, I'll just uh, get out of the way, really. <laughs> so, round four underway now. Talking about the front kick, Steve, that was a tremendous blow. Jan Beck now is trying with that left leg from the back. He must try and hurt Orlando White and back him up. If he doesn't do that, he's going to get even more confident and come after him. Jan Beck backing up here. I don't like this. It's tight. It's hurt. It's definitely hurt now. This might be the time that Orlando White snatches the world light heavyweight title. He won't stand a better chance than this. Make no mistake at all. The time must wait for Orlando to throw those white punches. Slip inside and out, boy. He's going to knock him out. That's the way to do it. This last one and a half minutes of round four, probably the most important one and a half minutes of Orlando White's Thai boxing career. Orlando realises he's behind and he's got to come after it. Look at the concentration written all over his face. He can take those all day long. coming in there from Orlando, lovely axe elbows. They're hitting the tiny, they didn't seem to worry about them. Four months since Orlando Bites last fight. My goodness, he looks in shape here. To fight here for this light heavyweight title. And he looks good on it, using the elbows at close range. Well, I think I'm right in saying this is the only the second fight we've seen here in Oldham, Steve, that's gone past round four. In fact, it's the first because uh, there was a stoppage in round four in one of our earlier fights, the first one we saw, that uh, World Junior Bantamweight title match between uh, Michael Leifat and Paliu Hadlek. So this is probably the closest Thai boxing contest we've seen. It's a very close contest. Let's catch up on that action from round four. It was a tremendous round. Look at that knee flying in from Orlando White. Yes, excellent. And there's the axe elbow going in from Orlando White, and again. 
He seems to be keen on this one. Here it goes again, three times. Ty's grabbed him now, he must be hurt. So, the fifth and final round. And I wonder if Orlando Vite can win this contest to take the World Championship. Well, Gore Emmers looking impassive there. And they're enjoying this one, young and old. Stand by for three minutes of explosive Thai boxing. The final round of this World Light Heavyweight title match between Orlando Veidt and Chang Piuk there in the white shorts. Ties are famous for it. I think the point is now that Champion knows he must produce something very, very special in this final round to make sure that he hangs on to his world championship. Yeah, Champion is pushing now, he's hurting, he's trying to hit every shot, must be everything in it. Now trying to score with everything and counter everything Orlando throws to win the round. Good concentration there on Orlando's face. He knows he's a bit sloppy with his hands, but he knows he can he can beat Chang Pei. So he looks the stronger man at the moment. He's coming forward with the tie, looks tired. And he's backing off, isn't he, champion there? He's throwing every shot as though it's his last on earth. Now, Veidt puts his gloves down because I reckon he thinks he's already won it. And Puke is going to come out and win the title from Veidt, perhaps, now. Ty is trying to look impressive. 45 seconds left of this fight. Oh, a little bit of fancy footwork by Mike as he goes for the kill. The knees raining in from the Thai boxer. There's a couple of low blows there from both boys. Lando there first and then Chen Quek next. Strong fight, very strong fight. Though by Champion. Those for the round here skip to the back of the calf. Didn't quite come off. Last few seconds of this fight now. Fight steams in again. Holds him over the rope. That's not allowed. And it's all over. I think you're winning from those two. Fight thinks he's got it. It'll be a great suggest that he has it. Well, Steve, I'll put you on the spot. Who is the new World Light Heavyweight title holder? I would have to give it to uh, Lando Veidt on that round alone. He's strong, too strong for the tie. The tie thinks he's got it. I don't know.
So, a tense time for both boxers as they wait the decision of the judges. The first time the judges have been brought in to decide one of these uh, titles. There they are. What a difficult job they've got. He prays that he's won it. And the referee. John Blackledge will bring the two boxers together to announce the decision in just a moment. Very difficult to separate them. Overall, perhaps, Orlando Vyatt landed enough punches, kicks and elbows, maybe to shade it. Maybe there's a, a feeling amongst the judges and the referees that as a world champion, Champ Puk had to come out and win his title. We have a split decision in this bout. Split decision. <laughs> Judge A scores the fight 25-24. Judge B scores the fight 24-21. Judge C scores the fight 25-18.5. Judge D scores the fight 24-22. Therefore, the winner in the blue corner. Oh, a controversial decision here. Chan Piuk has held on to his World Light Heavyweight title. Chan Piuk. And one of those sets of scores was very, very different to the other three. Your appreciation I understand that for an extraordinarily brave score of the game must be watching the wrong fight. All the other three right. scores were very, very close indeed. But 25 to 18 and a half surely is a miscarriage of justice.